you haven't had the opportunity to play in a packed Fifth Third Arena for a, a Crosstown shootout. Uh, are you looking forward to that? Most definitely. I'm excited. Um, I was just talking about it yesterday. So uh, we played here during the COVID year, and it was barely anyone in here. And the atmosphere and the energy still felt different than the other games that year. So I'm excited to see this place packed out for sure. Last year was a bummer. Do you pull from that game, or is it like, psh, forget that game, clean slate, let's just pull forward? Do you pull from that one? I think a little bit of both, um, because after anything, you know, you just gotta, you gotta move forward from it, can't carry that baggage. But at the, at the same time, you know, we got great pride for this school and this city. And we got a couple of guys that's uh, been through some things, such as me, John Newman, Jeremiah Davenport, who's, who's from here, Michael Adams Woods, who this is fourth year as well. So we got some guys that's most definitely uh, motivated and hungry to participate in this game for sure. You played in some big town rivalry games, obviously back during your time at Michigan. Just talk about how special it is. Obviously, open runs in the summer with guys from Xavier playing in the Smith League and whatnot. Just talk about how special it is to have that opportunity to have that open runs in the summer and then playing a big game like the Crosstown Street Out. Oh, it's it's amazing. First to have this opportunity in a great city such as Cincinnati uh, to have two historic programs play against one, one another, and we see each other all the time, as you said, over the summer. Um, to, and to be able to be a part of this amazing game. Um, it's nothing but gratitude and uh, appreciation to go out there and play hard, for sure. Any kid that, that dreams of playing college basketball has dreams of getting the moment like you got at the beginning of the game, getting the 1,000 point, you know, what does that mean to you to be a 1,000 point scorer and you know, have realized that dream as part of your career? You know, from a personal standpoint, it's amazing because First is a dream to be in college playing basketball, um, carrying out your dreams, but also being able to sit at a different table, being a part of a thousand point club is amazing. Um, but you know, you stop and think, uh, it took a couple miles to get to this point. Uh, it took a, a lot of perseverance in situations. It took a lot of great teammates uh, allowing me to be me each and every day. And it took a lot of great coaches putting me in a position to be my, myself. And um, I, I just give thanks to uh, John B. Lyon, Juwan Howard, uh, John Brandon, and uh, ultimately Coach West for allowing me to be in this position for sure. You've had a lot of coaches. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so over the summer with TBT, you guys did a lot of, you and Save, your school, your team and Xavier did a lot of like, <coughs> celebrations, events, and things like that. Yeah. What's it like to kind of have those where you guys are friendly, obviously hanging out in those circumstances, and then come, sun, come Saturday, you guys got to kind of throw that aside and get ready to play each other? Oh, it was great. When we had our event over the summer, it was a little weird at first because you can tell the tension was there. Um, so you, we didn't really talk to each other. But then we understood that it was about more than us. It was about the kids and the, and, the, and what we were trying to uh, do for the community. Um, but now it's, it's, it's time to get back to where things are. And that's uh, competing at a high level for sure. David, with the emotions so high for this game, how do you, as a leader of this team, keep the team locked in, stay focused on the game plan, and not look too too much ahead and uh, let the emotions get the best of it? Yeah. Uh, well, as Coach say, um, I think he talked about this before our first game of the year. He was like, I know everyone is probably nervous, a little unsettled, and that's great. You know, um, nerves is just a result of being part of something that's special, uh, being being a part of something that's worth something, and, uh, and that should be appreciated. But also, we shouldn't let them nerves get in the way of our main goals. We need to go in there uh, with a level headed and just implement what our coaching staff tell us each and every day. And let's play hard, play together, have a next play mentality. Uh, everything goes else will take care of itself. One of the veteran leaders on this team, and obviously some younger guys having to step up now due to injury, due to different circumstances. Do you say anything? Do you make a note of that to those guys? Are you are you vocal with saying hey? We're looking to get more out of you guys, or is that something that just kind of goes without saying on the team? Oh, yeah, for sure. Because um, that's one thing I could say. I've been to everyone's shoes, um, <coughs> and I talked to all three of them guys. Um, and, you know, you, I was talking to, I think, Josh. I forgot which game it was. He came in, he hit a couple shots, and I just told him that's what it's about. It's about chopping wood. It's about coming in each and every day, working hard, having the utmost character. And it might not happen in a day, and it might not happen in a week. But if you just continue to carry out that uh, that that mindset, it'll work out. It'll work itself out. And then you look, and you got John Newman, and you got Rob Fantasy hurt, two big pieces, and you now you asking for the freshmen to step up. 
and um, and they have the great mind, they have the great work ethic to step up for sure. Anything else? I got one. Sorry. Uh, Xavier, coach was talking about they have a good transition running game. Like the Arizona game is a good example. You guys played really well against a team that also played that way. Do you feel like this team is at its best when it's playing up tempo and running, maybe at least offensively? Our team? Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Because um, we got a lot of players. Uh, a lot of guys that can put the ball in the basket and play at a high level. Speaking of me, Landers, Jeremiah Davenport, uh, Dan. And when we had an opportunity to get up, get up and down, I have to think so much. I, I feel like it's a positive for our team, for sure. But at the same time, uh, we understand that they're great in transition, and we're going to sh have to shut that down. And I'm sure that will be one of the emphasis in our practice, for sure. You don't strike me as a guy who needs added motivation to play well, but you've never beaten this team. Is there... Maybe some added motivation to, to be the guy that can lead this team past that team in your final go around against them? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, when I walked into practice yesterday, I said, you know, our fan base deserves this. They deserve us to go out there and play as hard as we can, play as smart as we can, because all that they do for us um, each and every day and the support that they, they give us is only right that we give that, that respect and that gratitude back, and that's by going out there and playing as hard as we can. Good? All right. Yep. Thanks, David. Thanks, David.